What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Death Gun Chronicles. If you guys can't tell, today's episode is going to be about a new boat series. I bought another boat, and... <laughs> And I am freaking stoked that I saw this and I found it. I bought it. It's right here in my garage. And now we got the build to do before duck season. Another awesome project. I already got my plate full, guys. I'm working on a lot of things, but this one's going to be fun. So if you guys are new here, make sure you hit that sub button. We got tons of waterfowl content coming at you from right now all the off season stuff but the main gig of the channel is the hunts we put out through the whole part the whole season from beginning of september through late goose in february we'll be pumping out the hunting content also guys if you enjoy long form duck hunting content check out the duck gun podcast one of the biggest podcasts for waterfowl in the industry we've been doing it for going on three or four years now i don't even know um and it's a great one so anyways like i said guys today's episode we're gonna be talking about the new boat so let's jump right into it this boat guys if you can't tell this boat is freaking legit i mean look at the sleek design of this awesome little sneak boat maybe i'll go ahead and open the garage so we'll get a little more light on the back side hopefully it doesn't mess up the camera lighting too much but like guys like i said i can absolutely cannot wait to get this awesome boat on the water so um yeah let's give you guys the full tour so the story goes in this one guys i saw it up on facebook marketplace i was super intrigued by it i saw it i'm like man that boat looks awesome but i was working on the other boat and just kept kept on kept on um but then one of my buddies sent me the link again i saw it and I'm, oh man that does look sweet then i saw the price drop and you know, at that point, I think it was just meant to be because I went and took a look at it just, you know, just because I was in the area. I was up in Michigan. Um, but this is a fiberglass over wood boat. Um, I put it up on Instagram already. I've already put it up on Instagram. A lot of you guys are saying, hey, my dad had a boat like that, or I've got a buddy who hunted out of a boat like that. Um, all kinds of stuff like that. And guys, if you have hunted out of one of these, Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. You got photos. I'd love to see it. If you got motors you ran on, I'd love to hear how you guys used a boat like this because I'm all new to the fiberglass over wood thing. Um, you know, and it makes me a little nervous, a little nervous going out on a wood boat and fiberglass, going through the marshes, going through the rivers because I don't want to <laughs> get stranded or, or bust up the boat I just got. Um, but I'll say the guy that did the work on this, um, he did an awesome job. You know, it just it looks really sharp. The camel pattern looks really sharp. His craftsmanship looks great. He said he's used it for two years. Maybe got about 25 hunts out of it. Um, so yeah, I'm just real curious to see how it performs, and I can't wait to get it on the water. But full tour of it, as promised. So from the front, guys, like I said, a super sleek design. And we'll be able to see this better outside, but I can't get it out there till we get it on a trailer. He's got dry storage right here in the front. Um, you know, perfect for if you to run your gas tank up here, a battery up here, or, or anything you want to store there in that front, that front pocket um, or front storage. Then these rails right here are made for tying in your brush to brush in the boat. He's got these homemade seats. Plenty of space in here. It's, I mean, it low, low profile. So um, obviously this this sits pretty low in the water, and. And yeah, so you're sitting kind of a little bit higher up when you're sitting in these seats. And then kind of back around here, here's the transom and storage again in there. And this is more of that same storage, uh, perfect for the battery or gas as well if you want to put it on the back side. Um, but yeah, so some of the main things I got to figure out for this is, you know, um, as far as hunting goes, I got to figure out how we're going to hide it or if we're even going to hunt out of it. So it could just be a to and from type of boat. Um, but yeah, guys, it's, this is awesome. Let me know, guys, in the comments if you think this boat is as cool as I do. Um, and if you guys have used them, nobody's that used them. I want to hear all your stories, the things to be aware of, the things to know about it, and uh, your experiences with it. So um, this is just a boat. I'm going to need a trailer and a motor. So I've actually <laughs> I've been working tires tirelessly to put this together and so um you know the next part of this is the trailer motor and 
I've got those. So um, I literally got all the pieces within like four days. Um, first, I got the boat on Saturday, and then I ran up to Michigan on Monday and got the motor. I'll show you guys that here shortly. And then the trailer. So the boat, the boat, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on. The motor, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on. The trailer, man, that was hard to come by. Um, you got to have one in Indiana. All these cars, man. Get out of my video. Um, you got to have them titled in Indiana. Seems like everybody has a trailer without a title. So it's like really hard to get a, a title if they're not already titled. So this one had a title. I had a boat with it. I told the guy, hey, um, <laughs> I'll pay I'll pay your asking price if I can leave the boat. So I, um, it took a lot of convincing, but I <laughs> just dumped the boat in his yard and took the trailer. So, so here is the trailer. Guys, this is probably gonna take the most work. This is the only thing I don't feel like I got a great deal on is the boat trailer. Um, but I'm mean, honestly, I might just take off these. Uh, these are obviously just to help guide where the boat's at under the water. Same thing with these in the back. I think I can just chop all that off, put the lights and everything down in the bottom. New bunks, maybe some new rollers. Um, you know, I'm gonna have to adjust. This is way too high for the type of boat I got on there. Um, this crank with a steel cable. Seems a little ridiculous, so that's all gonna have to go too. Um, the crank right here is bent at like a 30 degree angle, so we're gonna new one of those. The lights don't work, so. So really, the plan is on the trailer um, to just redo all that. So that's gonna be, um, you know, a good <laughs> half days of work, I don't even know, uh, a good few hours of work on the trailer, just that. Um, but man, I cannot wait to get the thing tested on the water. I'll show you guys. I already have a motor as well. And maybe I'll get some grief over using this type of motor because I did when I had the Mud Skipper surface drive from last year, which again, that honestly, that didn't work out great with the boat I was having. But I feel like with this setup, you know, a little 13 horse, long tail, um, mud motor. Again, I know I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be cool as all the, the guys running the big gator tails and all that. But on this little rig, man, I just feel like that's kind of the way to go. Cheap and simple, put it on the back, it's super light, um, but, you know, I've never used one with one of these extremely long shafts too. So that's a hundred inch shaft. I might actually, I might think about going smaller. I don't know, um, just for maneuverability. Uh, some of the guys I've been talking to, you know, with similar setups have said they've done that. Um, and as well as that, I think great for some hydro turf going in the floor of the boat. Um, not only that, but I'm worried that Chief, I mean, this is a sweet camo pattern. I'm telling you right now, um, and I think that I'll have Chief sitting up here a lot um, when we're going to and from, and maybe even on the hunts if we get it set up in a way. And I'm just worried that his claws over time are gonna rip up the fiberglass and possibly even, um, well, gonna chip up the paint and possibly even tear up the fiberglass. So I might put a pad up here through this first section. It's just, man, I feel like I'm def defacing it when I take off that cool, when I cover that cool camel pattern with with a, a square of <laughs> the AstroTurf, um, which looks great too, but man, the guy did some awesome craftsmanship on the setup there. So, but yeah, I mean, that's all coming together. Once I get the mud motor on there, on the boat, in the trailer, everything's titled, registered, and we'll be good to go. So, oh man, I forgot about this. The, ch the chains as well. So I got, well, so everything's ready to go. Um, but yeah, I just want to share with you guys this boat. This is going to be um, my new dream boat. I'm, if I have to say right now, guys, I'm definitely more excited about um, this boat than the other boat. The other one's cool, but, <laughs> and I'm going to keep that build going because I'll probably, that one's more like, uh, what's the right word? It's more, It's more feasible for the stuff I'm doing. It's an aluminum boat. Um, I'm gonna be able to haul three people. I got the bigger mud motor on there, which we haven't got. We haven't had a video yet. Well, we have. So I got the bigger mud motor on there. Um, this one is just like more for fun. It's gonna get me in some awesome tight spots in marshes and shallow rivers. So they both serve purposes, but I probably could have got away without this boat. And I saw this boat and I'm like, man, I gotta have it. So. I got it, and here we are doing another build for you guys on the channel, and for me guys, I'm not gonna lie, I say for you guys on the channel, but let's be real, I'm gonna enjoy this a ton this season. Um, but yeah, that's all I got.
for today's video guys be looking forward be looking forward to the rest of this build the rest of the the previous duck build i'm still working on that the duck boat build and the bus build as well we got builds happening all over the place and seasons coming in hot so um what we got next we'll be working on the trailer um i got lights coming i got chains coming i got a new crank handle there i got um bunk i got the marine grade carpet for the bunks all that kind of stuff coming we're gonna make that thing brand spanking new and worthy of hauling such a prestigious and awesome little boat so um guys again if you enjoy this type of content you want to see the rest hit the sub button if not i don't know i'm jordan deck and chronicles we'll see you on the next one let's go